Sí. Estas son campanas. ¿Puedo contarle si quieres? Sí, me gustaría. Good evening, Alex. How are you today? Okay, sir. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Good evening, Lily. How are you tonight? Lily is driving tonight, so she can talk, okay? So how was your day today, Alex? It was busy. It was busy, yeah. This time of the year, everything is busy, right? Yeah, because because the next weeks I'm going to be I'm going to have vacations. Ah, you're going to have uh, holidays or yeah. vacation? No, vacation. Vacation, right? That is vacation. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Guille. How are you tonight? Good evening, Guille. How are you tonight? Uh, great, uh, teacher. Here, uh, okay. and ready to start the, the English okay. class. Okay, very good. I like that attitude. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, teacher. And what about you? I'm okay. Thanks, God. A little bit tired, but ready. Ready to teach this class, too. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna wait uh, two more minutes, okay? Before yes, we uh, start the class, okay? Yeah, okay, teacher. Uh, have, you, wait. have you worked on the platform and finished the midterm already? Uh, yes, I did it. Uh, I did the midterm exam and on Saturday, I think, or let me say, yes, I finished the midterm exam on Saturday or or Friday in the in the night or or Saturday I don't know but I I, I finished there. Okay, very good, very exam. good. What about you, Alex? Sorry, teacher, I can hear you. Uh, do you do the do you do the midterm? Do you finish section one, two, and three in the midterm? Yeah, I'm 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 in the three. 
Okay, very good. Good evening, Maria. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Have you had the chance to work on the platform? Yes, teacher. I I worked um, at the three sections. Capítulo numero tres. <laughs> Section one, two, and three. And did you do the midterm? Uh, no, teacher. Okay, but try to do it this weekend. Okay. 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 And and now that you are there, let me share with you. Okay. Okay, let me share with you. What you see on the screen is the platform. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Okay, with the class that we did last night, you can do knowledge check 4.4. So if you can go ahead and advance that on the weekend, that will be nice. And what we are going to do tonight, tonight we are going to go to conditional sentence with if clauses. So you can do the listening exercise for better or for worse too. The conditional sentence and the knowledge check. Okay, okay. after tonight. So you can do okay. knowledge check 4.4, listening 4.8 and the knowledge check 4.11, okay? okay? And tomorrow we are going to work with the reading. Okay, and Thursday, we just review that you have done all this, okay? Okay. So we can advance a little bit, okay? Very good. Yes. yes. Now, good Happy evening, Thursday. Lupe. How are you tonight? Can you turn on your microphone, Guadalupe? Good evening, Jordana. How are you tonight? Can you turn on your microphone, Jordana, please? Hi, good night. Good night. How are you tonight? I'm pretty cool. I'm okay. pretty cold and I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Pretty cold. Well, it's nice weather. For me, it's nice weather. Oh my God, but you don't know where I am. So probably it's not that nice. Where are you? I'm in a taco. In a taco, yeah. Oh, so yeah. you are really cold. I can guess that, right? It is, yes. Today in the morning was like 14 degrees. Wow. Like 14, 14 degrees, my God, it's crazy. Yeah. I was that I was in a taco uh, a couple of times in January because there are. Uh, do you live in a taco? Yes. yes okay, so time. there is a bar. I don't remember the name of the bar that is near the park. Okay. And there are a lot of bikers, okay, that they have these uh, bikes, BMW bikes and Harley Davidson bikes. Uh -huh. And they always, in January, they have a party and they celebrate. I don't remember the name of this bar. So mm -hmm. uh, my friend, he is, uh, he has a band, a rock band, uh -huh. and they hire them, okay, all the time to play in this bar. Okay, oh, so wow. we go there on January and, you know, a couple of times it was really cold. I think we were in zero, zero degrees, I guess, you know, because it was really cold, okay? Oh, God. Really cold. Okay, okay, thank you for sharing. <laughs> okay, hello, Karen, how are you tonight? Hello, I am fine, you, teacher? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Okay, very good. And Alexandra, how are you tonight, Alexandra? Hi, teacher. Very good. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. And Cindy, good evening, Cindy. How are you tonight? Okay, guys, let me see. Uh, let's start. Okay, we're going to start with the workbook. 
You remember the homework that I left you last night? It was on page, on the workbook, it was on page, uh, let me see what page, 49, okay? And, the, and it was exercise number two. Choose the correct responses, okay? For example, number one, uh, ask the question, Jordana, and Alex is going to answer the question. So go ahead and ask the question, Jordana. Okay. So when did people travel by horse and carriage? What is the answer, Alex? Are you there, Alex? Turn on your microphone, Alex. Maria Ernestina, can you answer this question? When did people travel by horse and carriage? About 100 years ago, teacher. About 100 years ago, excellent. Karen, can you ask question number two, please? Okay. When my doctors find a course for the cure, flu. Cure. Cure. cure for the flu. Uh -huh. When my doctor find a cure for the flu, Alexandra, can you answer this question, please? In the next 50 years. In the next 50 years. Excellent. Very good. Guille, can you ask question number three, please? When did the first man go to the moon? When did the first man go to the moon, Guadalupe? About 35 years ago. About 35 years ago. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Maria Jose, can you ask question number four? Okay. Um, let me see. <laughs> when is Eric going to have a computer at home? Exactly. When is everyone going to have a computer at home? Let's see. Uh, Eleonora, can you answer this question, please? When is everyone going to have a computer at home? Maybe right now. Well, not really no. right now, but probably soon. Soon. Okay. Soon. Okay, very good, very good. Now, let's do exercise number three. Can you see these books right here? Okay, complete the sentences and use the words giving and ideas from the picture. Now, these days, people go to the beach on vacation. Can you see right here? Now, in the future, they might go to Mars on vacation. You see, vacation on Mars and join the stars. Okay, now let's see. Um, uh, Jordana. In the past, what happened in the past? In the past, people used to collect records. People used to collect records like this one. Yeah. What are they doing now? Nowadays, they collect CDs. Nowadays, they collect CDs. Very good. Maria Jose, what did people used to do a few years ago? A few years ago, People use typewriters. People use typewriters. Very good. And Guille, what do people use today? Hello, Guille. Are you there, Guille? I'm, I'm sorry, teacher. I, I uh, have a few microphone years, off. A few years, people used typewriters. And, and today, today, people use computers. People use computers. Very good. Now, the next one, Guadalupe. Uh -huh. About 100 years ago. Go ahead. About 100 years ago, women used long dresses. Okay, where? Where? Because it's in the past. Where long dresses. No, where? Because it's in the past. Okay, let me show about, you. About 100 years ago. Uh huh. Women. Where is the base form and war is the past tense? Okay. War, long war. dress. Oh, 
sorry, it's not this one. Where are we? Uh -huh, right here. Okay, so about a hundred years ago, Guadalupe, are you there, Guadalupe? Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Okay, about? About 100 years ago, women were? Were, were, because it's in the past. Were? Were long dresses. Long dresses, very good. Eleonora, these days. These days. Uh, woman, women, women, uh, this day women um, wear short wear, kids, wear short kit, skirts, ah, skirts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These days, women wear short skirts, short kids, short skirts. skirts. Okay, very good. Cindy, nowadays. Hello, Cindy. Are you there, Cindy? Turn on your microphone. Hello. Nowadays. Let me see. I am. I'm a little bit lost. Okay. Nowadays, people. People live in people live buildings. in twenty-floor buildings. <laughs> Nowadays, people live in 24-floor okay, buildings. People live in 20. Okay. Nowadays, people live in 20-floor buildings. Okay. Okay. In the future, people will be going to live. We live. Okay. And uh, Alex, what about in the future? Sometime in the future. Sometimes in the future, people, people? going to live. In you. People is going to live in? in new floor building. In 200 floor buildings. 200, 200. In 200 floor buildings. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, now, very good work. Now, I want you to do this, okay? I want you to go to the textbook. And we are going to start with perspectives. Who wants to make money? Do you want to make money? I would it's like a to lot make of money. money. Okay, everybody would like to make money. Okay, Definitely. so listen to some possible consequences of getting a high paying job. Okay, so okay. are you ready? If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you'll be able to travel first class. If you get a high paying job, you might have to pay higher taxes. If you get a high paying job, more people may want to be your friend. If you get a high paying job, you'll be able to more to charity. Okay, if you get a high paying job, you'll be able to buy things you want. If you get a high paying job, people will ask you for a loan. If you get a high paying job, you'll have to you will have a lot of more free time. And if you get a high paying job, you'll be able to buy your parents a new car. So do you have any questions about these consequences? If you get a high paying job? 
no, no questions. questions. No. no teacher. Okay, very good. So look, you are going to you are going to listen, and then you are going to check which statements they talk about. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, very good. Here yes, we go. Clear. Questions? No, no questions. No so questions. all of them, right? All of them. Now, this is the new thing, okay? Tonight, we are going to take a look of conditional sentence with if clauses. Now, before we get into that, I send this document to your, to your uh, WhatsApp group. Okay, now what is the first conditional? The first conditional are a sentences that express real possibility. So that means those conditions may have real results, may have, we are not saying that they are going to have, may have real results, okay? For example, if I win the lottery, I will buy a car. So you see, to win the lottery is possible. And if you win the lottery, you are going to be able to buy a car. So the result is also real. Is that clear? Because exists a possibility. So we are talking about the future. We are thinking about a particular condition or situation in the future. And the result of this condition, there is a real possibility that this condition will happen. For example, it is morning, you are at home. You, play, uh, you plan to play tennis this afternoon, but there are some clouds in the sky imagine that it rains what will you do so we have the if that is the condition and then we have the result the condition the if has to be in the present simple and the result it has to be expressed in the future in this case we are going to use will okay so if it rains you see the this is the condition and the condition is expressed in the simple present. If it rains, I will stay at home. So the condition, because of this condition, there is a result. And the result is in the future using will in this case. Is that clear? Hello, do you have any questions? So no again, questions, again, remember, the if clause which states the condition must be in the present simple. And the result has to be in the future. In this case, we are using will, okay? Now, notice that we are thinking about a future condition. It is not raining yet, but the sky is cloudy and you think that it could rain. We use the present simple tense to talk about the possible future condition. We will use will plus base form of the verb to talk about the possible future result. This one, right? The important thing about the first conditional is, there are, is that there is a real possibility that the condition will happen. 
So there is a possibility that it rains, okay? There is a, poss a possibility that you win the lottery, okay? Very good. Here are more examples. Do you remember the two basic structures? If plus, if condition and result, and result condition. So if condition in the present simple. The result in uh, the future using will. Examples, if I see Mary, I will tell her. If Tara is free tomorrow, you see simple present, simple present, he will invite her. If they do not pass their exam, and you see, look, the condition may be expressed in a negative sentence or in a question. Their teacher will be sad. If it rains tomorrow, will you stay at home? And can you see the result? It could be a question too. If it rains tomorrow, what will you do? Now, the condition, the condition could be affirmative, could be negative, or it could be a question. The result could be affirmative, could be negative, and it could be a question. And they could be in any combination. Affirmative, 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 negative, affirmative question. Negative, affirmative, negative, negative, negative question. Question, affirmative, question, negative, question, question. Is that clear? So they could be in any combination. What you have to think about or remember is that the if clause or the condition has to be expressed in the simple present. And the result has to be expressed with future. In this case, we are going to use will plus the base form. Now, take a look. Will plus base form. Now, also, when, ah, when we state the condition first, a comma is necessary to separate the clauses. If Tara is free tomorrow, comma, he will invite her. If they don't pass their exam, comma, their teacher will be sad. If it rains tomorrow, comma, will you stay at home? If it rains tomorrow, what will you do? So you separate with a comma the two clauses. But if the result, because the result can come at the beginning too. If the result is at the beginning, no comma is necessary. Take a look. I will tell Mary if I see her. And you see this one? I will tell her if I see Mary. He will invite Tara if she is free tomorrow. Their teacher will be sad if they do not pass their exam. Will you stay at home if it rains tomorrow? What will you do if it rains tomorrow? And when the result clause is at the beginning, no comma is necessary to separate the clauses. Is that clear? Hello, is that clear? Do you have any questions? Teacher, I have one question. What uh, is your the, question? Yes, the, the conditionals are phrases or sentences uh, that we use to express future, only future. No. Okay, in this specific case, yes. Mm -hmm. But conditional sentences can express a condition which result will happen in the present or will happen in the future. When they happen in the present, they are called zero conditional. In this case, it's first conditional because the condition are, the, the, the result of the condition is expressed in the future. Is that clear? Now, yes, and there are teacher. other conditional sentences that express a condition in the present, but with a result that is not possible to do. Okay, teacher, thanks. And another question is about uh, might. I, yes. I look in this picture, you might get bored yes. and I, I can't say 
you might have born. Really? Only yeah. might get. Yeah, because we said that uh, the result can be with any form of future. In this case, we are using will, okay? But take a look of these examples right here, modal verbs in first conditional. Normally, will is used in the main clause of the first conditional sentences. However, you can also use the modal verbs may, might, and could when something is a possible consequence and not a certain one in the future. If you are nice to me, I may buy you a gift when I'm in Peru. Can you see it, Maria Jose? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, just one question also. Uh, when you use may, do you uh, do you have to combine or use have uh, after may? You have, for example, in this exercise, the last exercise that we have, uh, if you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Um, I can simply say you may to look for another job no, or I have to use may, may with have. May with, together. The base form, with the base form of the verb. All modal auxiliaries, well, the majority use the modal auxiliary with the base form. So may and might and could use the base form. So there's no need to use two. I may buy, they might win, he could get fired. Is that clear? So with these model auxiliaries, may, might, and cool, we are going to use the base form of the verb. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, okay. Now, uh, another Another way to express the future is instead of using will, we can use, and I'm going to put it right here, we can use going to, be going to, okay? Now, when do we use be going to? When we know that the result is 90 to 99%. You remember? the ones that were with me in intermediate one. And when we saw the future, we saw different ways to express the future. And we say that we use will when we are 70 to 90% uh, probability that the event will happen. We, we also saw that when we use be going to uh, is because we want to express a plan and an intention. And that is when we are 90 to 99% that the event will happen. So might, we say 70%, right? When we are 50 to 70% sure that the event is going to happen is when we use may or might or could. Is that clear? So that depends on how, and that depends on how Probable is the result. So you are going to express it with one of these model auxiliary. So if the result is seems like 50 to 70% probable to happen, so probably you're going to use may or might or could. Are we clear? Now, if the result is seems likely, okay, to to have a probability to occur 70 to 90%, then you use will. But if the result, you are very sure that it's gonna happen, so in that case, I'm going to use going to. Are we clear? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yes, teacher. Okay, so that depends. Now, in these exercises, the most common that we are going to use is will. Okay, but that depends on you that if you want to express something that is 50 to 70% probable, use may, might, or could. If it is 70 to 90% probable that happens, 
use will. Or if it is a prediction, use will. But if you are sure, like for example, you have the tickets, okay, already in your hands, so you are sure, so you better use be going to, okay? To express that this, that result is very probable to happen, okay? Hello. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, another one. Sometimes we use shall, can or may instead of will. For example, if it is sunny this afternoon, remember that shall, we use it only with I and we. So we can say if it is sunny this afternoon, we can play tennis or we shall play tennis. Is that clear? So also to express a future result. I recommend that you don't worry about this. I just presented it. So in case you see it in, a, in some sentence, don't say, hey, the teacher didn't say this. I said it, but people don't use it very often. Okay? Especially short. So let's have this mini quiz to see if we understood. Number one, the first conditional is used if there is no possibility, little real possibility, or a real possibility. Teacher, could you share that screen? Ah, I'm not sharing? No. No? no? Not okay, teacher. here no. we go. That is in that document that I sent. You remember that I asked you to, to have it ready? Okay, so there is this one. Can you see it now? Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah. Now, the first conditional is used if there is no possibility, little real possibility, or a real possibility that the condition will happen. A real possibility. A real possibility. Remember that I said right here for real possibility. So remember, the first conditional is used if there is a real possibility. If we were, are, or had been free, we'll go with you, which is correct. Where, are, are or have been? Are. Are. Yeah. Because we say that you we use with if, we use simple present. Remember? With if, we are going to use simple present. So what is the simple present here? Are. Um. Okay, now. Will win if we play, playing or had played? Play. play. If we play. play. If we play, play. because that play. is, play. can you see play. here? Play. If we is the condition that has to be in the simple present. So it should be play. Play. Okay? Okay. Very good. Now, here we have more exercises that we are going to do tomorrow. Okay? No, we are going to do a few here. Okay? For example, if you, let's get here, number 11. Okay. This one, 1 to 10, we are going to do tomorrow. Number 11, here is the verb that you are going to use in the if clause, and here is the verb that you are going to use in the result clause. So if we, what is correct? If we Send an invitation. Send, okay, because must be in the present. So if we send an invitation, our friends will come to our will party. Come. Will come to our party. Is that clear? Very simple. In the if clause, simple present or yes present statements, and in the result clause, future statement. Okay, let's see. Number two. I'm going to start with, let me see, with Maria Jose, number 12. Turn on your microphone, Maria Jose. Ah, uh, sorry. He don't understand. He won't understand. Understand. If. if you uh -huh. if you 
let me see the next word. If you. Here is uh, the verb. If you. If you. Mm, will have whisper. I no. Don't know. What do we need in the if clause, Maria Jose? What do we say we need in the if clause? In the if, if clause, you... we need simple present. So what is the simple present here? If you whistle, what is whistle? Susurrar. Okay, mm. he won't understand you if you whistle. No, si silva. If you whistle, if you whistle, okay. Ah, if you whisper, I'm sorry, ah, susurrar. If you whisper, si usted susurra. Right? So this one, the if clause must be in the present. And this one in the future. That is correct. Okay, Jordana, number 13. They, um, they won't survive in the desert if you don't take extra water with them. Uh-huh, because in that one we need simple. If you don't take extra water with them. So you see the if clause in the simple present, the result clause in the future. Alexandra, number 14, please. If you don't press control plus. Wait, wait, wait. Here it, is, it says affirmative. So if you. Ah, if you press control plus S, you will save the, fa the hey, file. Very good. You will save the file. Very good. Okay, let's see. The next one, uh, Irving. Okay, you crash the channel. No, 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 you... because this is the result, remember? You will. Uh, you? If you will cross. Uh-huh, okay, very good. You will cross the channel if you? Uh, if you will to fly. No, in the if, if clause, we need simple present. So what okay. is the present if you? If you fly. If you fly from Paris to London. That is correct. Okay. Very good. Guadalupe. Um, Fred will answer the phone if his wife has a bath. If his wife, third person singular. If his wife has a bath. Has a bath, right? Because it's third person singular. Okay, very good. Uh, Mario Marenko. If Claire. If Claire were where? No, at the park. no, no, because it's the if clause. In the if clause, oh, okay. you need simple present. Okay, if Claire were this dress at the party. Ah, now, look. If Claire wears, because we're talking about she. So we need. Uh -huh, okay, third person singular. If Claire wears this dress at the party, or our, where our guest, our guest don't stay long. No, 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 no. Here we need future. Uh, will won't stay long. Won't stay long. That is correct. Our guest won't stay long. Okay, very good, Cindy. Okay. Um, if if I touch this snake, my girlfriend won't scream. Uh huh. My girlfriend won't scream. Very good. Okay. Now number nineteen. Let me see. Alexandra Rodriguez. No. Let me. See. Yeah, Alexandra. Number 19, uh, she. Okay. Uh, I, I don't see. Okay. Uh, ah, she will forget to pick you up. She if, will forget to pick you up. If you don't phone her. Hey, excellent. If you don't phone her. Hey, very good. Ah. 
If you don't phone her. Okay, very good. Number 20, Guille. Machine, uh, I will remember you if you give me a photo. I will remember you if you give me a photo. That is, if you, will, uh -huh. yeah, if if you, you give, give me, me a photo. A photo. You see, very easy, correct? Okay, very good. Now, I want you that now we go to the book, Grammar Focus. Can you see the book? Let me share with you the book. Uh -huh, it's right here. Can you see the book? Yes. Yes. Okay. So in this one, if you get a high paying job, you see all these results are in the future. Is that clear? If you yeah. get a high paying yes. job and you see all the results are in the future. Okay. Now, Conditional sentence with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, you won't come to work as hard. Consequence, future with will, may or might. If you don't have to work as hard, you have a lot of more free time. If you have a lot of more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Again, repeat after me. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If, if, you, if you get a high, high paying, paying you job, won't have to work as hard. You won't have to work, work as hard. hard. Okay, that is the consequence. Now, this consequence, I will take it as a condition. If you don't have to work as hard, you have to a lot of more free time. If you don't have to work as hard, you don't have to work hard. You have a lot of a lot more time. free time. If you have a lot of more free time, you might get bored. If you, if you have, have a lot of more free, free time, time, you can get, get bored. Get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. If you, if you get bored, get you may have to look for another job. Another job for another job. Okay, now here, very good. Match the clauses in column A with the appropriate information from column B. Okay, so number one, if you eat less sugar, what is the consequence? What is the result? You, you might feel, feel healthier. healthier. Okay, very good. You might feel healthier. Very good. Okay, now number two, if you walk, work every day, You'll stay, stay in shape without joining a gym. Hey, very good. You'll stay in shape without joining a gym. Now, if you don't get enough sleep, um, you won't be able to stay awake. To stay awake. Uh -huh, exactly. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Now, if you own a pet, You may feel more you relaxed. May feel more relaxed. Feel more you relaxed. may feel more relaxed. If you don't get married, you'll have, have money to spend money to spend your yourself. Okay, so uh, you see, this is a very Thank good you. result. This worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, is that clear then? Yes. 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 Okay, now look, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back here. Okay, so this one from 1 to 210, you need to think. For example, here, if you, my bike, you will, okay. So I'm going to think, possible, possible. If you lend me, or if I, if you, If you lend me, no, if I, if you lend me, my, no, if I, if you, let me see here. I will help you. I will help you with the math homework. 
Teacher, are you in another screen? Because yes. we don't see it. Yes, you're right, you're right. I am in another screen. This is the document that I say. If you let me use your bike, if you let me use your bike, you see, in the present, I will help you with the math homework. Number two, it will be too hot if he goes, if he goes to Greece in August, it will be too hot. Is that clear? So here you have to put the verbs, whatever verbs you want. So I want you to do number three to number 10. That is, will be your homework. Is that clear? Okay. 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 Very good. Now you have to do a little thinking. That's all. Okay. Now here, the next, uh, the next one right here, consequences, pair word. Can you find two consequences for each possible event? Okay. Now take a look. Uh, Possible event, if you buy a large dog, what will be the consequences? If you buy a large dog, what will be the consequences? Can you tell me? Um, if, 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 if uh -huh. you buy, if you buy, go ahead. Tell me the consequences. If you buy, a large dog. A large dog. Um, you will have to take it out for walks. Is that clear? Uh, if you buy yes. a large dog, you will have to take it out for walks. Okay, now what is another consequence if you buy a large dog? I'll feel safer in my house. Uh -huh. my if you, exactly, but complete, uh, uh, Jordana, the complete sentence. If okay, so if I if I buy a large dog, I'll feel safer in my home. Exactly. If I buy a large dog, or if you buy a large dog, you will feel safer safer in your home. Is that clear? Oh, I, I will spend more more money on on food. Right. <laughs> okay, that's an extra. Very good. I will spend yeah. more money on food, on dog food. Okay, <laughs> now let's see. If I fall in love, what happens if you fall in love? I will spend more money. <laughs> if you fall in love, you will be, yeah, you will spend more money, even more money than the dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what oh, consequences my, do we find my right here? Broken. If, uh -huh, if I fall in love, I will have a broken heart. A broken okay, heart. Yes. Uh -huh, if I fall in love, I will have a broken heart. Now, I'm from here, jealous. if I fall in love, if I fall in love, I'll feel jealous sometimes. I feel jealous sometimes. Very good. Now, another one. There's another one right here. What is the other one? If yes. I fall in love. I'll feel better about myself. I feel better about myself. So people, oh. when they fall in love, they, wow, they feel better. The, the, cons the problem is when they separate. <laughs> yeah, when they broke up. <laughs> uh -huh, that is the problem. But when they are in love, -na 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 -na. <laughs> okay, now what happens if you go on a diet? Oh, <laughs> uh -uh -uh. I will lose weight. Ah, uh, okay. If you go on a diet, you will lose weight. Now, from the yeah. consequences that we have here, right here, if you go on a diet, I'll have to give you. up my favorite snack. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I will have to give up my favorite snack. And if I go on a diet, 
I will feel hungry. Better, more better. Healthier, better. I will feel hungry a lot, right? <laughs> what happens if you inherit a lot of money? I'll be able to buy expensive clothes. Uh -huh. I will be able to buy expensive clothes. What else? What else? I will. I could I travel will. around the world if I and want. I it. will be able. Let me see. Where is it? Yeah, I could travel around the world. That is correct. I will be able to travel around the world. I, I will, will travel around. I will the save world. money in the bank. I will. I will save money in the bank. Very good. Okay. Um, if I inherit a lot of money, I will get requests from for loans. Uh, from I friends. will get requests for loans from friends. So my mm -hmm. friends is gonna say, now that you are a millionaire, can you lend me two thousand twenty? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now remember to make these sentences as homework. Now, what happens if you move to a foreign country? What happens if you move to a foreign country? You will make uh, new friends. You will make new friends. And? Yeah. I'll have to learn a new language. You have yeah. to learn a new language. If you move to a foreign country, you will have to learn a new language. If you move to a new, uh, to a foreign country, you will talk, you will lose touch with all friends. all friends. Okay, mm -hmm. now we're gonna stop right here. What is the homework? Okay, make these uh, sentences with these possible events and with these consequences. Okay, and we will stop right here. We will continue tomorrow, okay? So okay. Okay. please don't miss tomorrow's class, okay? Okay. Okay. Now, on on the other hand, uh, remember, if you this is what we did today, okay, uh, conditional sentences. So you, in order not to fall behind, you can do knowledge check 4.4 about time contrast that we explained yesterday. You could also do the listening exercise for better or for worse, and now you can do the knowledge check. 4.11 about conditional sentences. And tomorrow we will do more exercises about this. Okay? So okay, work teacher. on your platform, not to fall behind, and so we'll be okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay. very good, guys. Thank you for your Thank attendance you. tonight. Have a wonderful good night. night. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Uh, okay, you. Thank good, you, teacher. get Bye. good blankets, okay, uh, Jordana? <laughs> get heavy blankets, okay, so you will, get, you, you will stay warm, okay? Thank you. Okay, bye-bye, Maria Jose. Bye, good night. Okay, that was a Bye, big teacher. orange juice, huh? <laughs> okay, see you, see you Bye, tomorrow. Man. Have a wonderful night, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Okay, see you tomorrow, bye, bye. guys. See you, tomorrow. see you.